Okay, actually, um, hi, I'm Alan. I'm Alan, and I stay in um, I stay alone in Changi Village with a rented apartment instead of my parents. So um, about my religion, now uh, we are Taoists. We practice um, um, processions of like um, how to say that? How to put it in words again? Uh, I'm sorry, I will take a bit. Uh, it's, too, it's too slow here. Uh. <laughs> it's about, um, you know, um, my God will possess on me to, to help other people, you know, in, like sickness, um, whatever, whatever that which human can't be done, can do. So they'll be the one helping out on a human mm. to guide them the proper way. I want to, I want to ask you a few questions. Um, one of them is, tell me, as you imagine your life today is, yeah. what would your life be like today without your Taoist uh, practice? Without this Taoist practice, without religion, I believe I'd be worse than this. Because everything started when I was a kid. I came from a broken family, you see. So I've been through a lot of stuff like, you know, um, when I'm young, we do all, all kinds of things like violence, you know, fighting, drugs and things like that. And I've been through shit. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been, been through times. Mean, uh, meaning, I went to jail for rioting, for manslaughter, mm -hmm. but I escaped, I escaped it, um, I was in there for about um, probably two years. So without religion, without religion, I'll be, I think I'll be worse, worse in the streets, mm -hmm. just like a well dog, you know. <laughs> so religion eventually teach me how to like, you know, suppress my violence, you know, teaches me, you know, Loving some, loving myself, then you can learn love other people. That's how how it goes by helping out, and that's where you find yourself, you know, in calm. Tell tell me about um, helping other people. Tell tell me about some people that you have helped. Um, so far, before I mean in life, before I was um, serving my no my possession, but uh, in life I help pretty much people like. Um, from heart, like family problems, you know, even um, older age people like you not know, divorcee, been through divorcee that I use my experience in life to guide them. Even through, even though some of my friends were in drugs, they take drugs, they fight, you know, they're still in the hood, meaning gangsters that are still in the gangster hood. So I'm trying to pull them off, tell them that no, nah, that's stupid. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. You know, eventually you should do what you should do is that to love yourself. Or maybe to help yourself before you can help other people. And you know, no point wasting a life, um, living in the street, just like a rat. You know, running away from laws, you know, doing all kinds of stupid stuff. That may, that may get you back in jail again. Why not just get up, come up from there and, you know, believe in something. Yeah. When I was a kid, uh, I left home since I was about 14 years old. I came out staying alone, you know, facing the world all alone. So this process because of, as I said before, with the family, because my dad is a, is a gambler. You know, he's, a, he's a drunkard man, you know, he beat his wife, beat his kid, he has no money at all. So I'm so sick about it. You know, I was beaten up many, many times. I was abused by my father. So I was so pissed off, I moved out. So along this way, this uh, right now I'm 30 years old. When I was about um, 14, it's pretty tough when you're 14 as a kid living in Asia, especially in Singapore. The society is so tight. Everything's about money. So I've been through all kind of odd jobs, you know, doing cleaning, you know, even doing cleaning rubbish, you know, um, runner for you know, for those drug pusher. Eventually, I even take loans, you know, doing something like loan shark, you know, beating up people to get money from them, you know, eventually, you know, being in a group, um, fighting outside the streets, you know, killing people, stabbing people, and, you know, as time goes by, I slowly learn that, you know, it's very tough. Lah. Eventually, it's all go through experience that, you know, these people have been helping me, that I thought it's the right way. Know, doing all this violent stuff, you know. 
when I was in jail, that happens to meet one um, one older guy, one senior of mine, which I get to meet him, and um, he's in there. Same thing as what I did, um, rioting and a manslaughter. But he have um, longer time than me, but he's still serving now because uh, he's a hit man. So when time when I when I met him, he told me a lot of stuff about you know. Uh, no point wasting my time as a young kid. You know, why not do something out of it? Like maybe, you know, I, I still remember one thing he told me that, you know, if a person is lost in the world, it's just like, you know, they're already in hell. Hmm. There's no there's no people guiding you, you know. Even though he even he asked me, are, are you are you a, a believer yourself in, in any religion? During that time, as a as a kid. I believe shit. I don't believe shit. I believe nothing. There's no God. There's no. There's no evil. I'm a free thinker. I'm a free thinker. That's about it. It's only me facing the world alone. Because whatever I see is like me alone facing the world. Is it? So it was born as a human being on Earth, and this kind of thing happened to me. Fuck that. I don't believe in. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't believe in. You know. Um. Um. There's God or there's what saying. No. That's me. Me and the world. That's about it. It's my life. You like it, take it. You don't like it, fuck it. <laughs> if you don't, you wanna deal with me, come to me. That's about it. So that's what he told me is that no. Eventually, when I grow older, I will learn because I'm still young. So along the process, you know, I try to calm myself down. You know, when I was out on jail, meaning, so I try to calm myself down, start to you know, try to start a new life. Maybe a new beginning when I'm out, talk about everything. I move along, I move along. Then till when I was about 29, it's about probably three years back. Uh, it's strange, it's strange when the last time when I was out from jail until now, because I have, I keep dreaming of um, those idol wins, those statues. Eventually, it came quite often in my dreams. Uh, that is so unexplainable. I went to this, uh, I was um, introduced to this lady called Auntie Ching, the one later we'll be going to. So she's a card reader. Eventually, I don't believe this. I don't know her at first. And um, she eventually can tell me my past, what I did through the cards. And um, she told me that, you no. Know, I came to this world is to suffer. That's what um, Taoists believe. Every human, every 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 life that is given by God, especially Taoists, is that you know, when they are born in the first day, they already they really have to suffer on earth to learn something. So, what I've been through is because um, it's fated that way. When the day I was born, until when I was about. Uh, 16 when I was about 16 those are the path I have to go since the day since I'm um, I was one until 16 so after 16 there's another path heading up so that it depends on whether how I'm gonna do it it's either you go straight or go the other way now so as you say thank God you know you're thinking straight so it's good to have an advice and it's good that you know to believe in something When you were having the dreams, before you went to the woman, what, what was in the dreams? What what were you dreaming? <coughs> I was dreaming that I've, I've, been, I've been through hell. As the one I told you, that um, the, the 80 gates, I even saw some of them. So, I was trapped, I was guided by my boss. They bring me down to hell to, to see, so called um, sightseeing. <laughs> so eventually, that is pretty scary, now. that's pretty scary. Because eventually you will see really um, soul, um, you know, they, they, you can't see the face, uh, but you, can, you know that there's a being, there's an image there. They will, they will they won't allow you to see the face. I believe that that's pretty scary. So I was like, I've been through. So I was walking this path, you know, on my left, on my right. There's images of you know, people, soul, and uh, I even see the soldiers of the, the hell, the warriors of the hell. 
and I was walking this path. It's very beautiful. But from far, I can see a very huge um, image, a person sitting down. I believe it's the emperor. So I was walking, I was guided by um, two people, and these two people will be these two big images behind me. Mm. Okay, they are the one guiding me. I was walking this path, and they were telling me, uh, remember this, this is what, this is what, but I couldn't remember it. Uh, that was so long ago. You, remember, you must remember this. This will what happened, this will be what happened. So everything's very blurry, but I know uh, I heard screams and stuff like that, but um, I can't really see them. But until a bridge, I had to come across a bridge that means um, closer to the emperor, the big image that I see. They asked me a question saying that, no, the rest of the road depends on you. Mm. It's either you it's either you want to cross the bridge or not to cross the bridge. So I walk up the bridge and I turn back. And I was woke. I was woken up. So when I when I wake up, I don't know what all this means. I went back to Auntie Ching again and I asked about the dream and she, she just laughed away and said that no, eventually um, what you're dreaming is uh, they're ask, asking you whether you want to do what I do is depend on how you want to cross the road. If you need to cross it, make sure that you know you do it properly. And if you don't cross it, that means they will forget about it. You know, they won't look for you anymore. Mm. So, surprisingly, when I was dreaming, I don't know why I make the move. That's why, that's why um, I'm, I'm, I'm here in the temple learning Taoism. It's because of the dream. So what did you do after um, she, reinter she interpreted your dream uh, for you? Um, I came back here. For I, the first time? Or you uh, yeah, for the first time. So, I, I, so uh, describe uh, coming here for the first time. Okay, the first time here is so strange that um, you, you can you can show that image there. We'll get it later. Uh, you get it later. Yeah. Okay. Then there's the boss. Um, he's a he's a he's a general itself. So he's doing you know his normal routine, and I'm just like a, you know a follower, new follower sitting outside waiting for my queue. So it's funny when the first time I sit down, he. he he look at me and he start counting and uh, he's saying that no, um, whatever you want to ask, I'm not going to tell you today. So, um, he just go. And I was in shock. I was like, how do you know what I'm going to ask you? And why can't you tell me? So it's okay, never mind. I, I still, you know, um, come here to worship, you know, to believe I just pray. So I come in a second time. The second time because why I had another dream. You know, I was in heaven. So I can't take it no more. I forced him to tell me everything. And when the first time he told me that but I asked him, why am I having all these kind of dreams? Is there a task for me to do? Or, or whatsoever? So he told me, yeah. Because why? Your past life, you have been doing this. It's a promise to heaven that um, you will complete it, but um, something happened in your past life that is pretty bad. Um, something maybe I uh, passed away or something like that. So the thing has stopped. So until this time when um, I have a new life right now, um, they'll come back to you again because um, your task has not been finished, mm. you see. So your soul, although your body might die, but not the soul, your soul still Still move on, you see. You'll move on to maybe a paradise, to heaven, or maybe to whatever places you might believe on. Now. So, <clears throat> he said that um, this thing will go on and on until you finish your task. It will make you a better person in your next life, and so on. So, because of you're stuck here, and you have to complete this task, that's why you have this kind of dream. And we are appointed to guide you. Then I was like, okay, so what am I going to do? So, tell me what I'm going to do. I don't really understand. Then the, he told me that no, believe in something. You know, you can believe in maybe like no, you can believe in Christian, Christianity. You can go to any religion as long as there is a religion. You no, know, they may guide you to certain places. But for your case, um, 
or your case because you have to practice this your past so move on they will be guiding me they will be guiding me is either when I'm doing my meditation or in my dream so I say okay why not I don't know what I am maybe I'm a, I'm, I'm a bastard in my past life but I don't know why I am I don't care I just want to finish this task to help people that's what they told me and uh, I believe to the day I die at least I understand I know deep down in my heart you know I fulfilled I fulfilled my goal and God has been with me it, it keep me calm it keep me calm and you know, stuff like that they guide me guide me through my adulthood hopefully um, hopefully they'll, they'll make me a better man was, was there a specific event um, that's no that made you feel like <coughs> you wanted a change in your life um, eventually um, the event is that you no know, right now you no know, I giving my body so called my human body um, to my god to my god so eventually they will come and come into me to help other people and it is another way that you no know, I sacrifice my body if it's an evil soul. If evil one came to my body and do evil thing, then I'll be, I'll be fucked. I'll be fucked. But thank God, no. Because um, this being has an, um, has an follow. I mean, they have a, they've been, been through um, generations after generations. And um, we even read about what they do when, when they came to Earth to, to save life, to help out human. So, before I was um, I was put on to this task. I was I was being guided. I was being guided by my senior. So um, that's how I'm, I feel great la. I feel great helping people. When you went to the woman, she recommended you came to this temple. Um, yes, she recommended me to come here because um, when we are doing this, it's something that you know certain things that what they do. Um, they are not allowed to let uh, human notes because it's against the heaven rules. So, but some somehow or another, they they would like to help, you know, to help people. They might bend the rules and tell you the truth. But so usually, like for us, um, heaven rules is like that, you know, that strictly rules. Rules are strict rules. If today you're gonna die, you know, there's no way other things can help you out to escape the death. But eventually some miracle stuff that I don't know how they do it, but eventually they'll take it away and let you move on. May prolong it for maybe about three, four years. So she banned the rules and tell me, you know, that um, why I'm having all these kind of dreams that um, this being has been, you know, I've been, I've been seeing them most of the time when I'm asleep telling me what to do, telling me, showing me things that no, I'm not supposed to see. Eventually sometimes showing me things that no deja vu. It happens uh, in dreams that no before it happens. Mm. But eventually the dreams that it happens is uh, is bad. You know, sometimes I dream of my friends, um, father that passed away, eventually he passed away. And um, you know sometimes I dream of myself, you know, that's what they show me that um, certain certain thing will happen eventually like well work working and um, who to look for and blah 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 and so on you see that is why i'm here because i see them in my dream their own being but not as a human form it's they themselves so they have been guiding me while i'm sleeping hmm. so that's why i went through this art teaching i don't understand it because i'm human i don't know what's going on eventually we have to seek somebody that you know is spiritually uh, a spiritual thought so i go to her then um, she explained to me, she explained to me that um, during my past life, before I was now, um, eventually I did something like this, but I stopped halfway through, mm. you see, so I have to pay it back now, as I told you yesterday, so at first I don't know to believe it or not to believe it, because why, I don't believe in God in the first place, and why should I believe it now, and um, she told me that, you know, try to undergo this um, so-called cost and uh, eventually I'll know more meaning um, do meditation so eventually when you do meditation um, you make it closer closer to them and uh, they explain to you and they'll show you 
what happened in the past mm. and past and present form now. So the bottom line is what they show is the same thing. Um, I need to help people and save people in a way. So um, it's tough. Like it's tough. Mm. So tell me, after uh, you had this, once you finally got this guidance mm -hmm. from him, mm -hmm. uh, what did you what did you start doing? Okay. Like tell me, tell me, literally. Uh, because um, I can't tell you much. Yes, I, as I said, when I was supposed to say, it's just like you're sleeping. Uh, the rest of the thing is that. You but, use, you does use, this happen immediately for you, um, or were there certain practices that you come into? The practices is like um, meditations. It's all about meditations, and um, we gotta go through some um, some rules, do and don'ts before I was uh, appointed to help. So um, about about the the process is like it's usually in my dream. So the only thing when I'm here, I have to do some prayers to purify my soul before I before I start to move on. And, um, that's all I can say. Mm. And um, when I start saving people, eventually it's not me saving people, it's my body saving people, it's my boss saving people, it's not me. Well, I'm, all I can say is that when I'm possessed, you know, when I was in trance, um, all I can say is that I know that I'm, I'm doing meditations. Mm. And um, I, I, will see, I will see what happened, um, what he do when I, when I go back and sleep. Eventually, he will recall you and tell you what to do. So everything is just like you know, it's uh, you know so strange. It's um, it's in the space is so strange that uh, everything is just like dreaming. But eventually, the event it happens. You go into a trance. Who is it that which which particular general or god comes to you, and what is this this one? What, um, what is his role? All I can say is that um, the guardian that the guide um, the, the guardian that guide you is actually um, one of his being is almost the same as him because he can be a lot. Hmm. See, he can be at a lot of places at one time. So um, all I can say is that um, I'm just a um, trance. Just trans and um, the guardian. The, you won't see the guardian, but you will know there's someone there. There's someone there. You'll be safe with that someone, but uh, we can't see him. No, but is there? There is a particular yes, that, god that, or general image, that, that can, no that that comes through you as opposed to other people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get. Yeah. Which one is it that comes to um, you? That is a um, monkey god. That is a monkey god. That is my guardian, and that is my that is my god. That um that guide me through this time. Uh, his name is called Monkey God. Monkey God. Correct. And what is the monkey god? Uh, what is his role? Um, his role. Okay, for his role, he is at um, um during what we what we read, and uh, he said no. He used to be um, a rebellious. It's the same thing as what I am. Mm. <laughs> Don't believe in God. You know, he do all kinds of things. You know, he even go through, um, go through uh, evil, evil way. But then um, he was appointed by God that you no, know, he will meet this person. This comes, this this monkey God come from a, a story or a journey to the West. So he's one of the uh, disciple of this four being, and he's the elder among among the rest of the. The, the students. So, if you want to know more about Monkey God, um, you can ev eventually find out the story from Journey to the West. So, they, this Monkey God is suppressed by um, his master because um, he's very rebellious. You see, so along the way, he learns um, he learns how to how to control his temper, believe in faith, believe in God, you know, and he move on to help um, people poor people, sick people, even evil, just to, um, they need, they have, they have a task to go all the way down to, to the rest, that means in India, to get a scripture out from there. This scripture is actually 
well, it's the future of the um, other followers. You see, this scripture is um, the the way, as what Buddha said, the way of life, and this scripture will, will guide all the human in a good way. So they have they've been through a lot of tasks. As uh, this monkey guard, um, you know, eventually is a is a protector of the master, and um, he fights. He fights for you no know, evil, mm. evil spirits and stuff like that, and um, yeah, he fight evil spirit that want to harm them along the way to the west. So How, this uh, is his, his role like, as an as a protector, as a protector of everything, human and his master. So eventually, right now, he has been um, the task has been gone, so he's been appointed to be um, heaven's warrior general. So his task to move on. Instead, the West finish. But right now, too much people has been doing too much evil deed. He's trying to um, remind human not to go through so much problem. Because, mm. um, as I said, um, heaven is um, as what he he said before that you know too many people has go through hell for for their judgment, and um, why not? People moving up to heaven instead of hell. That's why. That's why the task has been down for him to get the chosen one um, to guide other human, not to do too much evil on when they are when they are when they are, they are alive. So when you go into a trance and the monkey god comes into you, yep. how do you help people? Eventually, as I said, um, when I was in trance. Monkey God will, will take over my body, right. and um, for what I know, I will be just like sleeping, is that like dreaming? I don't know what's going on, and um, it, it feels like you're still meditating. You see, so once everything finished, you know, um, my students, my my fellow members will you know eventually send him off, send him back to heaven, and um, they'll call my soul back. Mm. So when my soul is back, and uh, eventually I don't know what's happened, but. Um, but when I'm asleep, uh, Monkey God will recall what, whatever he do when I was um, when I was uh, um, um, meditating. So I learned from there. I learned from there, and eventually, when in the dream, I hear and I see everything that he do. So from there, I learn and I pick it up. So as a human form, um, eventually, I know that no, that such person suffering in such manner, and um, it, it happens. I know. Make it easier, like you know. Um, I had a dream that um, my boss helped this family. That um, the kid is sick. The kid is sick, and you know um, what things that he do, and um, what kind of medicines um, um, he asked to to get from, and um, how to do it. Um, it's all in my dream, and that's how when I was awake, I know that oh, okay. I remember that you now, or oh, this, this, this eventually can help um, this kid for this sickness. That's all I can say. <laughs> um, but when people, when you're you're in a trance and you're, and the monkey god is in you, are you helping people while you're in the trance? Are they asking you questions? Um, are they asking you for things or for guidance? Is that? Uh, eventually, they, they they ask monkey god, but not me. Right. But yeah. So the monkey god is helping them. Yeah, it's helping them. It's not me. Eventually, my task is very simple. That um, I sacrifice my body. I sacrifice my body to him, so that, that he um, can so that he can come in and because why? Um, human communicates with human, but uh, if he come as a being. I mean, oh, they'll be, they'll be, they'll be, they'll be so, so scary because um, everybody will get scared, you see. So they, we eventually, we didn't even know who's God. We can't see them, you see. It's just that um, uh, energy, the energy of his big, so strong, you see. That is where, what, what, um, what I was learning for was of meditation mm. before I see him, you see. So make it simple as that, no? Um, I sacrifice my body because our tank, our mother tank, is easy for him to communicate with other people. Yeah. So that's why he need our, our human body to, to communicate with other humans, to help other humans to, to better understanding. 
whatever questions they ask, um, no, and so on. Is there one story of someone you've helped that is the most meaningful to you? <coughs> or yeah. that the monkey god has helped through you? Um, okay, for this... An old woman. An old woman. That, um... She... No, she divorced. Um... The husband ran away. No, with someone else, the kids. Um, he has three kids, you know. Um, none of them is on her side. So she came here to seek for guidance. Um, eventually, for what I can recall, is that um, she feels so lost. Um, she wouldn't give her life away. Then, um, what I can recall is that I you know, tried to tell her you know, not to. Not to do, not to throw life away because why? It might be easy, you know, just to jump out from a building. You know, but we explain to her that you know, when you die of suicide, you're gonna suffer below worst. It's only the body that dies, but not the soul. That's what Taoists practice. And uh, we help her out, like saying that you no, know, give her support, you no, know, guide her, guide her to the right way. Uh, maybe I still remember that we would call like um, we bring the kids up, we bring the kids up here to make them understand that you no, know, as a parent, as a as a parent and as a kid, your role play, your role play as a kid, you know, you have to you know to love your mom, you know, to do what a kid's supposed to do, and your mom is so sad that she's facing difficulties all alone, she feels so lost. Eventually, she wanna give her life away because a few people don't understand her. The people don't don't really support her, and the kids are quite rebellious lah at first, but uh, they didn't even believe um, in in you know, Taoist or you know, any religion. We got the kids and mom together when we are here. Eventually, they're still here. They're still coming up, and. Um, the good part is the good part is that uh, through all this learning, through these um, teachings and you know, the guidance which we learn, that I learn and I give to them, that you know, it's important that you know, um, to love yourself, as I said, to love yourself, you know, to believe in something, you know, and to help. Eventually, as I said, to help yourself, to, you can help yourself. That means you can help other people. Meaning that, you know, help your mom. Eventually, you're helping yourself. Mm. And uh, right now, they're together, and that's good. Everything has been... has been okay. Lah. It's mm. been okay. That's what I can say. I don't know how to put it in words. I'm so sorry. No, it's great. Yeah. You know, you said you give over your body. I know that you said at certain times of the year, you actually pierce the body. Uh, is that part of the giving over the body as well? Actually, it's not. Actually, it's not. It's uh, how does how does that fit into the practice? <coughs> the piercing is actually um, a symbol of all the guidance from um, from heaven. So the piercing is that you know when we have an event, we have an event, um, a festival. You know, he he would love to have all the guidance with him. So this is a symbol to all the guidance. Um, later on, I'll show you, and you uh, go through the piercing. Mm -hmm. And eventually, this piercing is um, it's not just normal piercing. You know, um, the, there will be some chanting before it, and uh, eventually, this guidance, as what we see, is only um, a piercing. But um, a, but eventually, once the pierce is on, it's eventually inviting the guidance to follow. Mm. To, to maybe to, to follow him no? to, to see what's going on at the festival that is why we have to go through the piercing mm. but when the piercing is done I can tell you that true, true fact is that <laughs> I don't know I have a pierce when I possessed when I was awake I was like what shit man <laughs> tell me uh <coughs> 
What's your life like today? Uh, my life life is good. I feel I'm reborn. Yeah. I feel that I'm reborn. Everything has changed. I throw my past all behind. I try to move on, you know, to love myself more. Hopefully can guide people in a be in better way, regardless of any religion, as long that, you know, you want to share, I'll share. I'll love to share. I'll love to share my experience. And um, it's good, it's good. At least I know that, you know, I've been guided. There's certain things that, you know, I can do, and certain things that I can't do, because I'm trying to purify my soul. Mm. <laughs>